So in an earlier video, I alluded to the fact that I had to go to a shaman when I tried to get Reiki and was told my energy was too strong for the Reiki master. So I found a shaman nearby. It's actually recommended. Um, so a couple miles away. Uh, so I make an appointment, go see the shaman. Um, at this point, I had sciatic nerve pain. I had blown out my disc, um, L5S1, August of 2016. This was September 2016. So um, in my case, I seem, like I said, I'm empathic, highly empathic. So I tend to get some illnesses that don't match my family history. So I've had gout. There's no family history of gout. Um, yeah, I, for a while, I thought it was having a heart attack. Um, so I get these strange illnesses. But anyway, so sciatic nerve pain blew the disc out. It actually happened. However, I still can't think but help, help but think that there's a spiritual or paranormal component to some of these injuries. So I make an appointment with the shaman, tell her what's going on. Turns out the shaman is a former emergency room nurse. So we were able to talk shop a little bit. Um, so she says, well, lay down. Let's see what's going on. Let me feel your energy. So I lay down. It's basically like a massage table in her studio. And she has the uh, Tibetan music playing and the sage going and the whole nine yards. Very calm and peaceful. <clears throat> um, so she starts to feel my energy and she starts over here she says okay 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 and then gets down to my feet and like whoa and then she's like up to my knees and like up above my knees she says there's no energy here you have no energy here okay she says you're not grounding you're not you're not grounding properly there's no energy in your legs then she goes to my other side okay that's fine then she gets to my shoulder up to around my head she goes oh whoa oh whoa oh holy cow she said, your energy is coming all the way out the top of your head. All your energy is above you. Um, and it's almost through the wall. There's only a couple feet to the wall. She's like, your energy is way out here. Okay, we need to we need to get this in. And so she's doing meditations, whatever. Um, she's saying some prayers. Um, and she says, um, well, here's what I think happened. Um, it was questionable whether you were going to be born or not. So at the very last second, three souls rushed in to get your body when it became clear you're going to be born. Um, side note, I was born um, breech birth with a cord around my neck. Um, why they didn't do a C-section, I don't know. But all I know, as my mother told me, it was a 14-hour labor, <laughs> born at four in the morning. Uh, but anyway, three souls rushed in to get your body. And one mostly got in, your soul now, uh, but there's the other two are still attached to you. So we need to remove those. Like, okay, so I don't know what to believe at this point. I'm just taking it all in. You know, I'm here to get fixed. So here, let's just let's just do the repair work. So um, she starts saying prayers and calling out to the archangels, and she's she's burning the sage and the ting sha, and she's got everything going. And she's like, okay, we need to detach these spirits. So you know, Steve, you need to work with me. You know, tell it to be gone. Get remove remove yourself from me. Detach from me. Go go go. So. She spends about five minutes doing this and um, she says, okay, one of them, one of them, I've almost got one of them off of you. And suddenly I feel this pop in my left shoulder, like a physical pop, like it cracked your joint pop. And she goes, okay, it's gone. Now we have to get the other one off, but he's not going anywhere. And so she starts chanting and she's getting more and more angry. And then at one point she says, like, you don't talk to me like that. You don't talk to me like that. My guides and my archangels, they're going to they're going to remove you. And she starts yelling at this thing. I'm like, OK, great. So <laughs> I'm just okay, be gone, be gone. I'm just, you know, doing whatever she's telling me. And then finally, after about 10 minutes of this, she goes, go, go. I said, go, Steve, work with me. Go, go, go. And it's just. All right, all right, go, go, get off of me, get off of me. And then I feel this big pop in my right shoulder, physical pop in my right shoulder. And she said, okay, it's off. And then she starts, you know, doing golden threads, silver threads, and this archangel and that archangel. And she starts sealing me back up immediately. I'm like, okay. And then she says, okay, now we need to push your soul all the way into your body. So she starts doing that with the energy work and she's moving her hands around. She's trying to get, you know, okay, let's get the soul in. She says, Steve, work with me. you got to push your soul in. I'm like, okay, I don't know how to do that, but I'm just imagining, you know, soul, okay, get in me, start pushing down my legs. And she starts, you know, trying to get the energy over my legs to come down. She's doing this, not almost a clawing motion. 
Come on, bring the energy. Okay, it's coming, it's coming, coming. Okay, I think it's at your knees now. And I felt both knees pop, like you cracked your knees. Pop. Okay, I guess it's working. <laughs> I continue pushing and pushing for about another five minutes. And then finally, okay, you're almost in, almost in, almost in. And then I felt both ankles pop. She goes, okay, you're in. And then she sealed me up again. And um, that was my experience with the shaman. But let me tell you, um, for two solid weeks after that experience, I was not angry, pissed, yelling at drivers, cutting me off on the highway, <laughs> nothing. I was just perfect calm and solitude and at peace. And so whatever she did helped clear my anxiety out for certain. So um, I don't know if you should go see a shaman, <laughs> but I would definitely recommend Reiki if you have some instability in your life or emotional trauma in your life. You know, Reiki can help settle down that energy and get you at peace, doing the chakras, whatever it takes to get your energy balanced. As I call it, it's a massage for your soul, massage for your energy. So I definitely recommend that, but that's my experience with the shaman. So take it in for what it's worth.